Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to recreate an experiment that I did a couple months ago uh, when it comes to off-grid air conditioning. Uh, and I'm using all of the same equipment. I'm using my SOK 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. I'm using my alpha 1500 watt inverter. Um, I'm also using my 8000 BTU portable air conditioner. Um, I'm also currently heating the room back up to 87 degrees and actually I'll probably stop it at around you know, it's at 86 now so I'll probably stop it here uh, real soon just because I wanted to compensate for the air outside. Today uh, the weather it's 73 degrees right now and it feels like 77. Um, but my test today is I want to see if I can run it for longer than three hours. Uh, I did this experiment before. Uh, go ahead and watch the video right up here if, you've, if you haven't watched it because uh, it tells you all about everything that we used in this experiment. Um, but I set the temperature to 70 degrees. And so that made it real comfortable in here and it ran for about three hours. I'm going to set it this time for 75 degrees and I want to see how much more time I'm going to be able to get out of that 100 amp hour uh, battery. So um, how about we just go ahead and start this experiment. It is so hot in here. Okay, uh, Keats, you want to go ahead and turn that air conditioner or that heater off? Okay, uh, it is currently 86 degrees in this room. Uh, okay, go ahead and turn on the... Uh, the inverter okay the inverter is on uh, just to show you there's the the screen for the SOK battery it just switched down to 99 percent so we've got a nice full battery um, it is we're just going to say it's 9 30 in the morning and without further ado let's go ahead and start this air conditioner there we go air conditioner just kicked on uh, it'll probably take a little bit for it to actually, uh, the condenser to actually kick on. Uh, but I do know that it will, it will run. And I went ahead and set this air conditioner to 75 degrees. So I'm going to come up here every hour to see what our battery percentage is at and to keep you updated. Okay, it's been close to an hour since we started this test. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, what the temperature of this room is and also what the percentage of the battery is And uh, I just want to show you on the air conditioner. Here's our settings. It is set for cool at 75 degrees And remember the last time we did this test we did it at 70 degrees and it only lasted three hours Okay, the time is uh, 1029 so it's pretty close to an hour and You can see the percentage of our battery is 83% so it hasn't even taken 20% of the battery yet. So I know it's kind of early, um, but this test could run for five hours. And actually this air conditioner had to cool this room down from 86, now it's down to 77. So that probably took more energy. So it could possibly run, I mean, it could, it could run for six hours. That's, that's what I'm guessing, but I'm not sure. So uh, let me give you, uh, if you didn't watch my other video, let me just show you the information on the side of the air conditioner so you uh, are well informed of what kind of air conditioner I'm using. Okay, there's all the specs. And like I said before, it is running on a 1500 watt inverter and a 100 amp hour battery. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go back outside and continue mowing. I will, I will come back at 1130, which is approximately one hour, to, uh, to give you an update on how the battery and uh, how the room feels. All right, everyone. Well, it's been another hour. And as you can tell, um, it is 75 degrees in this room. It says 75.9. Uh, the air conditioner seems to be running just fine. I don't see any issues with anything. So this setup will definitely work. Um, let's look at the state of charge of the battery. The battery is right now at 66% after two hours. And so it looks like we're going down 
17% every hour. Uh, so that's, a, that's an 8% savings. I, no, no, it's more than that, actually. So yeah, we're going down, we're going down 18% an hour, opposed to if this was set at 70, it would go down 33%. So yeah, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at over five hours of, uh, of air conditioning use if you set your air conditioner to 75 degrees. Now I say if you set your air conditioner to 75 degrees, if you set this particular model of air conditioner to 75 degrees, I mean, this, this air conditioner, uh, from what I found out in my last video, it is about as inefficient as you could possibly get. Uh, I would say if you had a window unit that was a 5,000 BTU unit, it would be a lot more efficient than this one, and it would cool the room uh, a lot faster. So you have to put that into consideration. Uh, also, the outside temperature, uh, it's 78 degrees. So if it's 100 degrees outside, that's also going to affect this whole scenario. Um, but what this test is all about is, do you want to be at 70 degrees when your power goes out all the time? Or would you be okay with having your temperature in your room be 75? Because at 75 degrees, this room is, it's comfortable, but by no means is it cool or even cold. Uh, at 70, you feel cool. You're like, oh my God, it's so cool in here. But when I walk in here after being outside, I don't immediately feel like, oh, this is fabulous. Uh, I just feel like it's a room that I could, I could sit in for a while and it would not bother me one bit. Um, but I don't feel the cooling comfort. I just feel, um, I, I feel like it's not hot, I guess is the best way of saying it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for another hour and we'll see where we're at. Okay, well, it is now uh, 1230, so we are on hour three and uh, the room feels exactly like it did an hour ago. The temperature on the clock that I have over here does say 76.6, but the air conditioner is still set at 75. So uh, nothing has changed at all. Uh, the state of charge for the battery, we are looking at 58%. So, I mean, we're going on, it's going to be over six hours if this keeps up like this, which I was not expecting. Um, and some people are probably wondering, okay, well, you're in a house. I mean, you have your air conditioner on. I'm, I'm sure you do. Um, the vent, the vent is almost completely covered up. And I also uh, went down to the furnace because I have valves on all the, uh, uh, all the ducts downstairs and I shut that because that really makes it so no air comes into this room at all. So uh, this room is not being air conditioned uh, by the rest of the house at all. And another, and when I did my, uh, my, last, my last video, people were saying, well, you know, this thing is, it's blowing out hot air, but it's sucking in air from this room. So that air is coming in from under the door. And, uh, you know, and that is true. Um, and th there's nothing I can do to, to alleviate that besides the fact that I, uh, I, have, uh, I have a couple of towels on the other side of the door to try to stop it from doing that. But, uh, you know, this isn't a, a, a scientist, scientific test environment. So uh, you just have to roll with it. Okay, well, I'm gonna come back in an hour and we will see where our battery's at and we'll see if, um, if the temperature gauge on that clock goes back down to 75. Okay, it is now uh, 1.30 p.m., so it's been another hour, so let's check the uh, capacity of our battery first. And our capacity is right at 46%, so it's only gone down, it's only gone down, I think, like 12% since, uh, in the last hour, so um, it's almost like the, the, the temperature in this room has really evened out, I guess you could say. And um, so yeah, we're gonna go another hour, and so it'll be 2.30 by that time, and we'll see where we're at. Okay everyone, it is now 2.30, so it's been another hour. And let's see where our battery's at. Okay, the capacity of our battery is now down to 30%. 
And as you can tell, it's 2.30. Uh, the indoor temperature says it's 76.1. And we are currently uh, drawing 58.4 amps from the battery. So the air conditioner is running right now. Or I should say the air conditioner is actively cooling right now. It's not just the fan. I think with the fan, it runs around eight or nine amps. Okay, so we'll just continue this uh, little experiment and uh, I'll come back at, um, at 3.30 and see where we're at. If it makes it to 3.30, that is, uh, that's six hours. So we'll see what happens at 3.30. Okay, the time is now 3.30, so let's look at our battery uh, capacity. And our battery capacity is now down to 17%. And you can see the time is now 3.30 and the temperature in here is a 76.6. So the AC will probably be kicking on again momentarily. So I'm guessing that we probably have about one more hour of this, uh, of, of this battery powering this air conditioner. I will come back up at uh, 4.30 and we will see the results. Okay, well, my son and I heard a beeping coming from upstairs, so we came up here and the inverter was at uh, pretty much at 10.1 volts, it showed, and once it hit below 10, it automatically shut off. So let's look at our results. Okay, first of all, the time is 4.06, and the battery, as you can see, is uh, zero. So the battery is completely dead, and everything has shut off. So what this really shows is that you could safely you could safely say that you could run this particular air conditioner with a 100 amp 12 volt battery for about five and a half hours if you set it at 75 degrees uh, with the test i did before i set it for 70 degrees and it only ran for three hours you are getting an additional two and a half hours just by increasing the temperature of the AC unit from 70 to 75. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, anything I did or any of the equipment that I used, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'll have links to all of the items that I used in the description below. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.